Good afternoon Vyond City. No need to introduce ourselves, you know who we are. But if you don't, or if this is your first time watching our network, our names will appear, now. And today, we're here to bring you some very special news reports. So you are in for a treat today. Well not too much. We are starting with a very important news flash. Vion High School's principal, Carolina Ramirez has suffered rat poisoning to the stomach, and is in the hospital. And according to our sources, it was caused by a student, but the family would like to keep the name private for personal reasons. Jody Cantrell was the suspect. Well, um, thanks Lucy. Well, Jody Cantrell was the one responsible for the incident. Hey Lucy, how would you feel if someone close to you was hospitalized because of a subordinate teen? I really wouldn't like it at all. I can agree with you on that. In fact, the Ramirez family were certainly not having it today. How do I know? Well, Lena went to their house for interviews. Let's hear what the people had to say. Just why? Why does my lovely wife always have to go through this torture of these teenagers? First, it was Raven, then Rebecca, Kenward, Eloise. And now, Jody? Hold up now. You guys won't believe it, but four out of the five that Dave mentioned were actually the heroes for once. But we'll get to that later. Anyway, Sierra Ramirez, Carolina's daughter, had some, well, pretty harsh things to say. Jody, I hope you're watching this in jail. Your actions had my mommy put in the hospital. Did she do anything to you? Heck no. How about you do me a favor and go jump into a deep manhole? Whoa, that was harsh. I'm not finished yet. So Jody, you better be prepared for what's coming after you get out of jail. It will not be fun at all. Whoa darling, take some breaths. Mommy will be out of the hospital soon. Children can be really aggressive these days, but I understand her frustration. If my mother had to go through that, I would be probably more furious than she was there. Hey Mrs. Hansen, can I have a turn? Of course you can. So basically, I'm keeping mommy in my prayers, and hope that miracles can happen. Daddy always says, you've just got to believe, and maybe it'll come true. Inspiring. So yeah. This Jody kid is probably going to be the talk of the town for the next few days. So as I said earlier, these four troublemakers, who are usually bad, decided that it's time for a change of scenery. It got so bad, that they've decided to help crack the code. You know, sometimes you have to give up what you love doing best for good causes. Think about that one Star Wars episode where Vader turned good by betraying his master in order to save his son. Pretty sick moment if you ask me. I, literally, have, no, words. All I need to say is a story. So Mr. Roden suspected us anyway because he thinks we usually cause trouble. He's not wrong, but still. I had to go up and tell him that he cannot suspect us over everything. So this is when he sparked the idea of having us help him, and we did. Process of elimination I tell you. We had to ask almost everyone in the whole school. We had no luck until a kind officer named James came over and showed us this really cool device that can scan fingerprints. I need one of those for Christmas. We spoke to one more person. Officer James wanted to take a moment to showcase this machine. You know, when the police chief showed me this machine I said to myself, huge opportunities. Now, it's super hard for me to explain this, but I kept the exact poisoning bottle for evidence. So you can't see it but there is a fingerprint on this bottle. This tracker is Bluetooth to my laptop. Now, I will use this device, so you can see it in person. It takes a minute to process. It's crazy how a single device can solve your entire crime and crack your cases. Hey boss, you think we should sell this to the general public? I don't think it's a good idea James. In my opinion, the crime solving should be left to us. If everyone has this device, then what's the point of the police? Well, that answers that. They do not want this thing sold. Sorry Eloise, but you'll have to scratch this off of your Christmas list. So there you have it.
Another VHS case solved. Lana Henson, Vienna News. Huh? This is not normal for them. Why are they turning good? I want us to be the most troubled teens in the city. Well, it looks like your wanting is not happening. You can clearly see that sometimes there are bigger and worse threats. This Jody girl is a good example. So if there's a bigger threat, you just have to turn around for a bit. It's okay to be different for a little bit, however, I wish you could stay that way so I don't have to constantly ground you, but like I said, sometimes you just have to change from time to time. It's very boring if you're keeping the same personality over, and over, and over again. Dad's right. Remember when we watched A Christmas Carol? That evil top hat man, I forgot the name, became a good person in the end. And Dad's also right about there being bigger threats. I think you two make a good point. Wait, you all know? Duh. We watch the news too. Well, it takes a true detective to solve a near murder mystery. Luckily Jody got what she deserved and went to jail. Now she'll get to see what we go through sometimes. We are super proud of you for all of your efforts. Jody Cantrell can face my teeth. Face it. GRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
Anyone think she's going to join that troublemaking gang with Raven and them? And also Viley? I doubt it. She may be a little too extreme. That I can agree on. Wait, who's Viley? Oh, I've just realized that too. Oh, I'll tell you. Viley Anderson is a troublemaker that runs around the city, and, you know, causes trouble. If you want to know what she looks like, she has purplish pinkish hair, a magenta top, pink leggings, and pink sandals. She talks in a bit of a British accent. Her and her crew are just one of the most wanted troublemaking groups in the city, not like there's enough of those anyways. And the two of us have had to deal with many of her instances. That's right. Bali had stupid agents take Vivian away to a deserted island, with very dry heat, no water, and God knows what other tortures she had to endure. Oh yeah, I remember now. She crashed our summer party last year. Jeez. That must be rough having to deal with all of these losers like that. I've seen other troublemaking groups before, but can they ever exceed her? Well to answer, Jody single-handedly exceeded that entire crew. Hey, what's poppin'? We were talking about the Jody situation Rupert. Jody? Never heard of her. She was the one who poisoned Mrs. Ramirez today. Oh, for a moment I thought it was Raven and them. Wait. You know about them, but you don't know about Jody? Let me tell ya, I watch the news often. If you watch it so much, how come you have no idea about Jody? I guess I didn't watch today. Hey guys, maybe we should pay her a little visit. Shall we? Great idea. Come now, to the hospital. Let's see what the dish girls are up to. So it looks like according to the paper, Jody Cantrell is the suspect. Jody Cantrell? That name sounds a little familiar. In what ways? Um, um, I don't know. For one moment I thought it was Raven Fernandez, because of how much he hates Mrs. Ramirez. It also reads that Raven and friends were the ones who helped solve this case with one of the police officers. The Unicorn Frappuccino, same as always. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I say we should do something for her. But what? Remember what happened to Mr. Bad when he got sent to the hospital? Yes, I do. Why? Let's make a card and picture for her. We did it last time and Mr. Bad loved it. So let's maybe use that principle and come up with something a bit different for Mrs. Ramirez. HMN, I do like that idea. We can brainstorm what the picture should be. How about a toss salad? A toss salad? We can put the Ramirez family right next to a giant toss salad, that's her favorite food. Okay. Just make sure we don't add poison to that. And after she gets out, whenever that will be, we can give her spa treatment. She could really use it. Of course. Come on girls, we've got some work to do. Hmm. Maybe this is a good opportunity to perform a concert outside of the hospital. But what should I perform? I want to think of something everyone knows. Maybe I should listen to some. Ah, found it. Forever by Chris Brown. A classic. Now it's time to make a transcription of this song. But I've got to make it the best as I can. Or people might get dis disinterested. I gotta call a band. Guys! What is it, Gabe? I'm sure you are all aware on what's going on with our principal, Mrs. Ramirez. Yup, we sure are. What does this have to do with this band? You'll find out. So I was doing some song research to try to raise awareness, and I struck some fine gold with this one. Let me ask you this. As he's called Chris Brown's familiar? Nope. Not at all. 
I'm sorry. Who now? Chris Brown. He sang the song forever. Can you show us the song? On the way to the recording studio? Of course I can. Um, what are you doing outside of our house? We're waiting for Mrs. Ramirez to come back. We have some stuff for her. Well, about that. Um, she'll be in the hospital for a few days. So whatever you're planning to do for her, it'll either A, have to wait, or B, do it in the hospital. Dang it. I forgot that this was a multi-day recovery. Well, the bright side is that we can add some more detail and possess to our artwork. That's great and all, but how are me and the Rebel Rockers going to perform in a hospital? I have a suggestion. Do it right outside of the window where her room is located. Daddy, what are all of these people doing out here? Don't worry, darling. They just wanted to do something special for Mommy. Say, do you have those flowers on you? Yes, I do. Well, they were all about to make their way to the hospital to see Mommy. So I figured that now would be the perfect time to visit her. Don't you agree? Of course. I'm so excited to give Mommy these flowers. Where's Ashano? I want to let him know that we're leaving. I'll go get him right now. Vamos. We got a mission to take care of. Wow. It's nice to have all of this company around me. They switched me to a different patient room, so I can be more comfortable. It's our pleasure. Anything for a top-notch principal at a top-notch school. He's right on the money. Mr. Roden running the school won't exactly be the same. Especially with all of these troublemakers. But not today, as the typical troublemakers actually helped find out who it was. I'm glad. Wait, what? I mean who? Yeah, the troublemakers solved a case on who poisoned you. And you will not believe who it was. It was Jody Cantrell. I met her not that long ago, and she was so nice and kind. What? Her? When I met her, I had the same experience that you did, Edwin. Come on in. Surprise! There are my heroes right there. Are you feeling okay, ma'am? I'm feeling great. Really, really great. Also, why did you guys help me? Well, Mr. Roden actually suspected us. And I was able to talk him out of it. But I'm being dead serious, it was not us. When we suspected some students, they all were denying us. So we needed police help. Luckily, Officer James showed us the cool fingerprint scanner that his boss gave him. We scanned the poisoning bottle, and Jody's name came up. It was really amazing. I wanted to get one someday. Maybe Kenwood. And there are the other two. And what do you mean by fingerprint scanner? Officer James provided us with a fingerprint scanner. Ramirez. Hey girls. I didn't expect to see you for... Well, surprise? Not much of a surprise anymore to be honest. Well good for you. Anyway, we made this picture for you. Wow. That's a nice curtain I must say. It's not the curtain we're showing you, it's this. Awesome. It's me and my family next to a toss salad. How did you know that it was my favorite food? I don't know. I just made an assumption. Well, okay. When you are done, we have another surprise for you. Oh boy. What is it? Wait and see. But first, there is someone else who wants to see you. Hey there, honey. Mommy. Wow. What a surprise. And Sierra, you bought me some flowers. It took me forever to pick these out for you. Good morning. It looks like everything is cleared for you to head home. That's right. Your recovery is finished. Why not go into the bathroom and change into your normal clothes? Sign here. And here. And last but not least, here. It was nice doing business with you, Carolina.
Surprise! Wow! Now this is a real homecoming. Darn right it is. Mommy's home. Yeah, we missed you so much. So we've decided to throw you the biggest party yet. But before we do that, Daisy, Isa, Samantha, and Hannah have a slight surprise for you. This is for your eyes, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Since all of your administration duties and having to prevent troublemaking is getting stressful by the minute, we've decided to treat you to a spa day. You girls would be doing all of that for me? I am so flattered. Yup. Let's get this started. Now that that's out of the way, let's get this party started. Wait. Mrs. Ramirez. Look behind you. Five, six, seven, and eight. I know you feel like you want me, and I guess in a way you do. All of my breath, all reveling emotions. I need some space to think this through. Call me on now. Yeah.
that's what I'm talking about. And Juan, it looks like things have been going in your direction since your sudden retirement. Well, a few strings had to be pulled to pull this stunt off. Well, one more thing before we start the party itself. Oh yeah, I forgot. Family back together. Always. Always.